As part of an experiment to explore the human mind, we asked 22 people to solve the same riddle and recorded their responses. Feel free to participate also. Are you ready? Um... The riddle. A father is about to bring his son to a job interview, applying for a position at a large stockbroker's company in the city. Just as they arrive at the company's parking lot, the son's phone rings. He looks at his father who says, go ahead, answer it. The caller is the trading company CEO who says, good luck son, you've got this. The son ends the call and once again looks at his father, who is still next to him in their car. How is this possible? <laughs> he gets a call from the CEO, uh, but it says... Good luck, son. But he was next to him. So it's not the father. I think it was probably an audio recording of his father. Maybe he made an... Uh... A demo tape? Like, is like he has two fathers? This is a hot one. Maybe it's a word joke, like it's the grandfather of the son. No, I think his name is Son. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it's just like an old man, you know, calling a younger guy Son. I have no idea. The answer. It's his mother. Ah! Oh, that's oh, that's so stupid. Yes, of course. Ah, sure. Ah, I should have thought of that. Yes. The CEO is a woman. So I'm I'm biased. <laughs> In a sense, is this about diversity and inclusion? It's really mind blowing, actually. So I always thought that uh, I'm not as not very sexist. But in spite of that, I think these subconscious biases are there in everyone's mind. How much bias I still have in terms of thinking that the CEO needs to be a man. Yeah, I definitely was picturing a man. They identify with males more than females these days. Why can't women also be CEOs or doctors or, right? When I think about a CEO or, so, or someone that's high positioned within a company, I mostly think of men. And it's a shame, I think. And it's so weird, because I'm a CEO, and I'm a woman. And I want to be a CEO, why didn't I think about that? Crap. I believe uh, women can absolutely be CEOs, and that's definitely something that we should work on, especially when you're saying that so many people have been told this riddle and most people haven't gotten it. Women make great CEOs and great leaders as well. And yet only 5% of Fortune 500 CEOs are women. Let's change our mindset.